Hey loves, Brianna here and welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a get ready with me, very simple look. I actually was gonna do some type of an eye look, but y'all know your girl be running out of time. <laughs> so if you guys would like to see how I created this look, then keep on watching. All right, so y'all, I am rushing because I'm always rushing. Like I feel like I'm always rushing. But today I'm going to brunch, like literally a late brunch. But I wanted to come up here and get ready with you guys because I have this new kind of routine that I tried the other night and I really liked how it came out. Um, it was super lightweight, but still like a full beat, you know what I mean? So I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what I used, steps and everything like that. Okay, so for primer, I'm going to be using the All Nighter Face Primer from Urban Decay. This has been my, my, my go-to. Like I just, I love this stuff. I'm just gonna apply all over the face and I hope my lighting's good today because I'm trying to use more of a natural light um to see you know so it's just not so bright because sometimes I feel like it's really bright in here but watch it not be bright enough y'all know how I am when I'm like my stuff be all over the place y'all know this like girl get it together so I'm gonna go in with a bit of this Pores Be Gone Matte Primer. You guys know this is like an OG of mine, staple piece in my makeup. Literally love this stuff. Literally love it. So I'm just gonna place it on the areas that I kind of feel like I need more of the matteness look. So all over my face basically. But like I told y'all, I've been loving matte lately. I don't know why, I just have. Then I took some of this spray all over my face. So for foundation, I'm actually using this Lancome Skin Feel Good. Um, it's a healthy skin tint, uh, healthy, no, hydrating skin tint, healthy glow. It has hyaluronic acid in it and it's oil free. Um, it has sunscreen of SPF 23, so you know we want to keep the skin nice and sunscreened up because we don't want to wrinkles. But I picked this up because oh, let me tell you what shade. This is in the shade 05 in tan. So I picked this up. Okay, I know I ain't use it all because I just bought this. Okay, we ain't got time for this. So I kind of take a bit of it because it is skin, it is a skin tint, um, but I do build it up. So I'm going to take my Morphe sponge and I'm just going to go ahead and press it into my face. And when I tell you it literally makes my skin just look like an even skin, it does. And that's why I wanted it too because like... I don't know, sometimes, especially when it's hot outside, I don't be feeling like feeling like I have on a whole bunch of makeup, you know what I mean? But yeah, I could still build up the coverage. I could still build up the coverage with concealer. So when I did this the other night, I was like, wow, yeah. So I'm gonna take a little bit more just because, because it is a tinted moisturizer or tinted skin tint. That's one thing that I forgot to mention. It's not a tinted moisturizer, so don't think you can just rub it on with your hands. And you're gonna get a tint, because baby, that's not gonna happen. Now that the foundation is done, I'm gonna go in with some concealer. So first, if I can find it. All right, so I'm gonna go in with the Juvia's Place concealer because it's not too brightening but yet it is matte and with this being like a skin tint it can tend to move so just gonna go in with a bit of this let it sit for a minute um but yeah i wanted to do like a get ready with me because i just like doing get readies with me and when i'm doing my makeup i'm like why don't i just come on camera and get ready with y'all my lips is looking and she I feel like I wanna do something to my eyes today. Like nothing crazy, but like on the brown side a little bit. I'm going with this beauty blender to blend in the concealer. And I'm gonna make sure I'm like really lifting to get in those creases to get that coverage. 
And I'm not gonna bring it all the way down just because I'm still gonna go in with another concealer. So kind of bring it down like midway. But you guys see this concealer already gives me like great coverage. But that's why I really like it for this step because it gives me great coverage. But yet it's not like too, it's not like really high highlighting or anything like that. And like I said, I want the extra coverage because this is a skin tint. So basically I just really want my face to really just look like skin, but still like look like I put in the effort to do my makeup. The crazy thing is I've actually been looking for a good skin tint because I wanted to try something like this, but I never could find like my shade. It was either way too dark, like orange, or it was just way too light. Um, I tried the, uh, which one was it? I feel like it's in here. I don't see it, but there was another brand. What is it? Was it another like, expensive? it wasn't Lancome. It was, girl, I can't even tell you. I'm not even about to try to make it up because I don't even know. But next I'm gonna go in with, what did I go in with next? So I'm gonna go in with two more concealers, but since I do want it kind of matte, but yeah, I don't want it too, too matte because I still want it to be like skin-like. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Kevin Aquan one first. Um, just because I feel like I, I, I don't know. Like I really like this one. Like I really like this concealer, but I feel like I have to be really careful with it because it can, it, it, I don't know, to me it creases because it's a thicker concealer. So it definitely creases on me. And a lot of people say that they love this concealer and I feel like I used to really love it but I don't know, like, I don't know. For me, it just, it was too thick that it was it was creasing and it just, it didn't make my makeup look flawless, especially under the eye. And that's like my main, I feel like that's like the main part of your makeup where it makes you look really flawless. Like if your under eye is nice and not creased and like settled deep in, you know what I mean? You guys know what I mean. <laughs> but yeah, so anyways, I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit. But y'all, y'all have really been liking my vlogs and I'm so glad that you guys have been li liking my vlogs. I'm actually uploading a vlog today. Once I get off, I'm gonna be um, letting it go live. So I'm letting a vlog go today. Um, this vlog that I'm letting, that I'm that I'm posting that you guys would have would see before this video um, was an older vlog, but it was sponsored. So that's why it was like kind of, you know, later. I hope you guys enjoy it because you guys seem to like my vlogs, but um, yeah, so I really just want to come up here and talk with you guys. Um, again, I'm like all oh, again, again with this concealer. I'm just gonna really press it into the skin up here. We really, really want to press this one in because, like I said, it will crease. Let me know if you guys have that problem with this concealer. Let me know if you've tried it and tell me your thoughts on it. But tomorrow's Monday, new start of the week. Gotta be up for the gym. I, You know what's crazy? I actually love going to the gym. Like I actually really love it. And I love how it makes me feel after. And I love that it like starts my day super early. It's like, you know, I have to be up early. And I don't like being up early, but I like that I'm kind of now on like an actual, like really good consistent schedule. And I know how my day is really gonna go because you know, I gotta be up for the gym at seven. I'm out of the gym by nine. And, you know, I don't know, it just feels so good. And then I come home, I do like my, you know, just my routines of what I do. So I really enjoy it. And who doesn't wanna go to the gym and get in shape, you know what I mean? So going there tomorrow and I'm also going to be editing so I can have this video up for you guys, my try on hauls, um, and yeah. So I'm gonna do my brows real quick because I just need to do my brows. So, hmm. All right, so I'm gonna do these off camera and I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so that literally took me two minutes or yeah, two minutes to do my brows, but 
I actually don't feel, sometimes I feel my brows, sometimes I don't. I think I'm going to fill them in today, but sometimes, no, most of the time, I don't fill in, I don't go in with the pencil until I'm done with my um, cream contouring and contouring because I seem to always brush off the edges when I'm like blending in the contour, so I'm not going to do that. But for today's cream contour, I'm taking the Juvia's Place foundation stick in the shade Binin. I'm gonna just take a few of these. Let me go ahead and warm it up. A few of these swipers to go ahead and. It's so creamy. This is so creamy. I actually decided to use this because I wanted to switch up from my Graph Toby. And you guys know I love this, but you know, I wanna switch it up for you guys sometimes. And you guys always complain about me not switching it up. So, yeah. But anyways, um, where was I at? I don't know where I was at, but I wanted to come up here also and talk about a certain topic and a topic that has actually helped me in my life and helped me accomplish goals in my life. And I'm sure you guys heard it. Manifestation, manifestation. I've like, I didn't start do, I didn't start my manifestations or, you know, talking about my manifestations or, you know, bringing it into the universe um, until I started my YouTube channel because that's when I kind of found out about it and I always would say, you know, you put in the universe and you speak things into existence on what you want to happen in your life. And when I tell you, when I manifested my YouTube channel and my growth um, when I first started it and, you know, I set a goal and I said, you know, I'm gonna have 10,000 subscribers within two weeks and my channel is going to do great. I'm gonna be able to make this my job. This contour is not <laughs> looking that great. Um, I'm gonna be able to make this my job. I'm gonna live my life how I always dreamt of li living it. And this is what and how I'm going to build me and my life because I never knew, I never knew what, I never knew, um, sorry, I'll look for my brush. <laughs> I never knew what my purpose was. Like, I never knew like what I was supposed to be going to school for, if I was supposed to go to school, like, of course, uh, college. Um, you know, I just didn't know because I never had this urge of like, going to college or like what my major was gonna be. Like I never knew, this is trash on my nose, <laughs> but we're gonna fix it. Um, Like I just never knew. And I just remember, I'm sure I've told you guys this before. I just remember, you know, just being on YouTube for hours when I was working my job at back home in Virginia. And I used to literally be on my phone for hours at work just watching YouTube videos and I was just so amazed. And honestly, no, that's when my manifestation started because I said, you know what, I'm gonna do this one day. This is gonna be my job. I'm gonna practice and when I tell you, the power of it is so great because I was with living with my parents at the time still and my dad was um, retiring so we were moving to Florida after he retired. And why did I just do that? I need to put it around my lips. There we go. Just gonna blend it in a little bit with the beauty blender. But now I'm gonna go in with another concealer. Mm, my lips are dry. I'm gonna take this Makeup Forever um, Matte Skin and I'm gonna take a little bit of this, like right in the corner. I feel like I'm doing the TikTok tricks. <laughs> Makeup pack, right? But yeah, so that's when my manifestation like really started. And when I tell you, once we got to Florida, cause that's where, like I was saying, that's where I was at. My dad was, um, and my family were moving to Florida um, once my brother had finished his eighth grade year so he can start high school in Florida. So we all moved to Florida. And I said, that's when I'm going to start my YouTube because I'm not gonna have a job. I'm gonna be new. I'm not gonna have any distractions. I'm not gonna have friends or anything like that. So I'm not gonna have any distractions. And when I started it and I said, I'm gonna have 10,000 subscribers within two weeks, 
I'm gonna be super consistent. My channel's gonna do great. When I tell you I spoke that into the universe, I might have even wrote it down. Y'all, I had 10,000 subscribers in less than two weeks. And I was so, that was a moment I was really proud of myself because, you know, I didn't know if I was gonna go to school. I didn't know what I was gonna do. I didn't know what my future was. I didn't really see it, you know what I mean? And I felt like this is what was meant to be done. This was what was meant for me and you know, it, it was harder for my parents, especially my dad, to really understand like that's what I said I wanted to do because it's like, what? Like what? They don't, you know, older people don't really be knowing much about the YouTube, social media type of thing and how it works. So he was like, okay, well you still gonna need a good job. So I still, you know, I, I got my 10,000 subscribers. Y'all, I cried and everything. My mom has a picture and everything of me crying when I reached it. Um, like that, like I said, that was just a moment. I was just so proud of myself. And I was just like, wow, I really can do it. Like, this is what's meant for me. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna push hard and I'm gonna make myself something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna prove and make everyone who doubted me proud, okay? So within then, I was very consistent making my videos off of my phone. Y'all remember off of my phone in front of my window in my bedroom with the lights in the background, my bed, everything, you know. Y'all remember that. And um, my dad still made me go and get a regular job. So I was working at the hospital in the, um, shoot. I think it was like, y'all, I can't even remember. I cannot remember, but I'm sure y'all remember me working at that time still. So, yeah, it can happen. And like, I always tell my friends, I always tell people like manifestation, speaking things into existence, writing it down, putting it into the universe really works. Like I live by that. And I, I don't, I'm not, I wouldn't tell anyone something that isn't true or that can't help them you know what i mean and to this day i'm still doing that and i kind of fell off for a little bit just because i wasn't motivated in life to you know do certain things but i've been back on it lately and i actually just got me a new notebook and i write down my plans my goals what i want done and I write it down, speak it out to existence, and I'm working towards it. And when I tell you manifestation has never failed me, it's never failed me. Um, for powder, I'm going to be using this Fenty mixed with the Pat McGrath powder. Uh-uh, Louie, what you doing over there? Where am I mixing the Huda? No, I think it was a Pat McGrath. I don't even remember what I be doing, y'all. Like, that's another thing I hate when I don't be remembering. What steps I used? I'll go ahead and clean this up a little bit with a leftover concealer. But yes, y'all, I truly believe in manifestation and that is what's helped me accomplish a lot of my goals and what has helped me accomplish the things that I do in life and how I've gotten there and just from also just working hard, you know what I mean? And just you know, being humble because a lot of people talk about me or they feel like I'm just this, I'm just, you know, I don't, I don't know what it is to be honest, but a lot of people, I need to get these gracious. I forgot to do that. I'm going to just take the Morphe sponge that doesn't have anything and really press in. And then I'm going to take the powder and get it under the eyes first. Okay, and press it in there. Then I'm gonna work its way down. And I feel like this helps with the under eye creasings for sure. And we're gonna let that kind of bake. But like I said, I mixed the Fenty powder with the um, Pat McGrath. So now I'm gonna go ahead and really just press the powder into the skin. Look at how smooth that's looking. I know it looks still crazy because, but I'm gonna just press the brush kinda in. And then I'm gonna take my Holy Grail, where is she? My Charlotte Tilbury Prist, Prist, Press Powder and 
press it into my skin and this also just helps with setting everything but also I love it because it really just really gets the skin super flawless because this is a powder that says flawless and when I tell you it does what it says it does what it says I forgot these smile lines and I really need to set them because this was a skin tint and you know wow i wish i remember what i was saying i feel like it was so good so now i need to go in with bronzer so i'm gonna take my mm, yeah <laughs> i'm gonna take my uh charlotte tisbury bronzer oh my gosh i can't believe i don't remember what i was saying anyway so yeah manifestation is just my thing and you know i just use it with everything and I always speak things into existence and when I tell you it has just helped me in life it just has oh I remember what I was saying now I think I think I was talking about how people you know they they think I'm like a bougie stuck up person I'm not humble you know I get that in my comments a lot how people feel that way about me but it's like they don't know me in real life so I don't even let it like really get to me because it's like they don't know me in real life. They don't know how I am because I'm really a sweet person and I'm very genuine. And you know, when you come across me, I'm somebody that, you know, if you are right to me and do right by me, I'm somebody who you can have in your life um, for a while. And I'm just gonna take some of this bronzer because I'm like running late, so I know I really can't do much of that. But like I'm just somebody who will give you the best advice I can. I'm funny, goofy, I like to have a good time, but yet I'm still chill. I'm very conservative, very private, but yet, you know, I never make anybody feel singled out. Like if any of you guys have ever met me or, you know, ran across me out in public, you guys know I'm nothing but genuine, nice, and I, I don't make you, I don't, I don't put out there like I'm better than you or whatever the case may be, like some people do. And I've just never been like that. And you know, I think I get a lot of blessings because I'm very humble and I'm true to myself and I'm true to other people. And I'm not perfect, you know what I mean? I'm not perfect at all. But like, I just, I'm a humble person and I don't let my followers or money or people I hang with you know, make me somebody that I'm not, you know? And I feel like I really get these blessings still because I'm a humble person and I have a really good heart and I may come off cold sometimes, but honestly, like I'm a really good person. And I think that's really why I get so many blessings because like I said, I don't know, but I see all the time that Blessings really come people's way when they are humble. You know what I mean? Like blessings really will come your way when you're humble. Actually, I think I use a bit of luster today. I mean Taj Mahal and mix it with this Kylie cosmetics blush. But you have to be very careful with this one because it's very, very potent. Like it's very pigmented potent. But yes, like I feel like you know, I like I said, I'm, I keep saying this over and over again, but be humble, y'all. Like, be humble. Be nice. You don't have to be mean. You know what I mean? Like, I'll never understand why people are so mean to people, especially when they don't know the person, you know? Like, I'll never understand why people feel the need to be mean to me on these social media apps and say these things about me because it's like, I'm nothing like this, which y'all are saying. So, you know, I let it slide, I let it go because it's like, I know who I am and I know I'm not like this. But it's still like, wow, you people really be miserable because I'm such a, I don't know, I'm just not that type of person. So it's like, really, you know? I think I wanna do some bottom mascara, y'all. Let me spray my face first off. I'm gonna take this. Um, Beauty Bakery spray. Oh, y'all, I didn't even fill in my brows. Um, I'm gonna just use this Milk Makeup Kush, is what it's called. 
literally doing the bare minimal. I haven't done bottom mascara in so long. I'm like, wait, don't look down. Don't look down. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so yeah. Um, am I gonna fill in my brows? Mm, I do need to put my little moles on because they were covered up. Not really because this is a tinted, so you guys can still see them. All right, so I got my little moles on. I'm trying to figure out, do I wanna do my brows? I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna, I've been using this eyebrow gel lately, okay? And I think I'm gonna just do that. I think I'm gonna do that. Ooh, I forgot to clean up gel. Really don't have to. But yeah, I've been loving this because it just like gives me those bushy, like soapy eyebrows. So you have to spray it first. And where's my, hmm. And I've just been brushing up my brows. And when I tell you it really does it, it does it. And I got this from Sephora. Like I said, it's a Patrica. Patrica. But yeah, y'all, so I'm like in a rush now, so I'm like not really talking. But I really just wanted to say, you know, use manifestation for your goals, for what you want out of life, what you want. I mean, you can even use manifestation. Like, you literally can use it for anything, you know? So I truly believe in it. And from experience and how well it's worked for me, I just wanted to come up here and tell you guys about my experiences with it. Um, and, you know, I wouldn't come up here and tell you something I don't believe in. So, um, yeah, you know, just be be yourself, guys, and be nice. When you're nice, nice things happen to you. You know, they really do. Try it. <laughs> and if it's a self-confidence thing, why you are mean, and why you feel like you have to bash other people, just work on yourself, sis, and you will have great things happen for you. You know what I mean? Okay, so now I'm gonna take the brush and just go like that and kind of brush them down but you guys see how it really has that feather look i love it it's like do i want to fill it in i'm gonna just go a little bit wow my brows literally came out so stinking good, okay? Wow, good brow day. Again, I'm so sorry I'm all over the place. You guys know I'm always rushing, which I need to really stop doing. That's another thing I really need to like, time management is what I really need to work on. And I get comments and people are like, well maybe you need to have a notebook to write down so you're not all over the place. Girl, I'm not about to come up here and be perfect. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna come up here and be myself as if we're having an actual conversation. But yeah, I'm trying to multitask at the same time. You guys still get what I'm saying. I'm not perfect. Like, I'm not about to come up here and act like I'm perfect. You know what I mean? So I wanna still make it as genuine and as relatable and like we're really talking as possible. So that's why I just come up here and I do my thing and I do my rambles, my rants, whatever the case may be. I feel like that's like genuine. Like we're talking, you know what I mean? Like when we're talking, I'm not sitting here talking. I'm like, so what was I gonna say next to you? Um, hold on, girl, let me look. You know what I mean? Like nobody does that in real life. So yeah, um, I just wanna come here and bring some positivity and let you guys know that you guys can accomplish what you wanna accomplish in life. And all you have to do is put your mind to it, put manifestation out there and speak it into the universe. And I'm telling you, working hard for what you want and staying positive and being humble you will receive blessings. Blessings will come to you. You may not get them overnight, but they are gonna eventually come to you. God has everything placed in everybody's life individually as their own person on what their life is supposed to be like if they want to, if they want a certain thing and they really put out there that they want it and they work for it, God is listening to you and he will give you your blessings, okay? You're not, your life is not supposed to be like my life, okay? Remember that. So. Thank you guys. I'm gonna go get dressed and we'll be back and I'm gonna show y'all the lip, okay? Okay. Also, this is the final look. What I did was I just lined my lips with this NYX lip liner from, um, and in the shade New Truffle. And then I just took this clear gloss from Sephora and then I topped it with this NYX butter gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie. I'm out of breath because 
your girl gotta go. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to like if you liked it and leave me some comments down below. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.